Hey guys, my name is Jeff Knoll, and I am the leader of a team of kid movie reviewers whose mission it is to review movies meant for kids. Now, I think that adults reviewing kids' movies is just crazy. Seriously, what do we know about what you like to watch? Nothing! Now, like Professor X before me, I've assembled a crack band of movie review superheroes to give you the real scoop on what's hot and what's not at movie theaters for kids. Okay, review crew, today's mission is to watch and review the latest animated film out of Hollywood, Prancing Ponies Go to School. Dad, call my agent. I'm so excited. No. 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 I, I think I made a mistake here. Uh, hold on. If we do this, we'd be going in shorthanded. Yeah, you mean because he killed all our friends? We owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. It's not about how much we lost. It's about how much we have left. Where's the Avengers? We gotta finish this. You trust me? I do. Okay guys, you're freshly back from watching Avengers Endgame, so let's get right into this and see what you thought of the movie. So, what did you all think when Tony Stark- no. Jeff, no, no spoilers! spoilers. Oh. Jeff, no! Okay, okay. So what'd you guys think when Captain America So it was a pretty cool scene when Black Widow So what'd you guys think about Thanos having a little puppy? Did you guys know that I actually was the body double for Captain America? Well, let's uh, Let's try to do this in a non-spoiler way. So I apologize for that. Let's start right off the bat and talk about the genre a little bit. How do you guys feel about the superhero genre as a, as a, as a form of entertainment? I don't really like it that much, but this movie was actually really well made and I found it very interesting and not too much like violence or action. Well, there was a lot of action, but not too much violence or scariness. It was really interesting. Andrew, I know you're a big uh, Marvel uh, fan. What did you think of, uh, what do you think of the superhero genre that seems to be so popular? I like, I like the superhero genre. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else. That's okay. great. I, just, I like the action. Awesome. I like, sometimes I like the comedy that sometimes they do. That's good. Yeah, I really like that there's like a lot of comedy filled into the action. I just found that really interesting because I love comedy. So it was like, a little mix of my favorite genre in one of the genres that I'm not that like comfortable around or I don't really know much about. It was kind of like, oh look, there's like funny parts and I get the jokes. Yeah, the it comedy was, fills it in. Yeah. yeah. So Ethan, what's your favorite Marvel movie? Black Panther. Why? Be uh, because I really like, um, I just like the effects and how everything's like futuristic. And this one also kind of did that. So I also like Endgame too. Okay. Now. Was this movie, Endgame, was it better than Infinity Wars? I thought it was so much better because like everything really tied in together and it like made so much sense and any everything that was supposed to be in this movie, it like all came together and it was like amazing. Cause like sometimes when you have like amazing movie like Infinity War, you're scared that the next one isn't gonna like live up to like what it's supposed to be. But this one completely topped it. It was so amazing. Do you think it lived up to the hype, Andrew? I think it probably did live up to the hype. There's a, a a lot of things about that people thought on the internet. Though some theories were untrue um, and a little abnormal and strange. Hold on a second. There was something on the internet that wasn't true? I know, it's, oh. it's shocking, <laughs> truly shocking. We lost, all of us. We lost friends, we lost family. We lost a part of ourselves. This is the fight of our lives. This is gonna work, Steve. I know it is. Because I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't. No, I was joking earlier about uh, spoiling the story, but we know that some people had, had leaked some of the storyline on the internet. Had anybody actually 
read any of that or seen any of the spoilers or heard Honestly, about any of the spoilers no. before you no. came to see the movie today? No, I know yeah. that um, everyone was excited about it because the trailer got 300 million views in the first 24 hours, which is like all of Canada was watching it basically. <laughs> so, Ten times Canadians each. like Avengers, yeah. yeah. Now, one of the things that, uh, that people are saying is movies is too long. What do you think of that? I mean, if you have a break in the middle, it's good, but most people watching it won't have a break, so. Like an, like an intermission. Yeah. I thought it was amazing because like each part, like even though it was like really, really long, all the important parts like were in there. Like there wasn't one part that I was just like bored and sitting there and being like, ugh, when's this gonna be over? It was like every single part was like this new thing's happening, so much action, like thriller, and you wanna keep watching until you get to the end. Okay. So if parents are watching this review and they're wondering should they allow their kids to see this, what do you think about that and what age do you think would be appropriate? I think it's okay as long as your parents uh, trust you without saying swear words because there were a few swear words in this movie. But um, if they trust you with that, I think it could go maybe eight year olds could watch it if they're like responsible enough. Um, so there was some profanity, not like you know, major profanities, but a few, like, words kind of hidden in there. Well, not always hidden, because sometimes you screamed it, but um, <laughs> there was a lot of violence, so some kids might be scared to watch it, because there was some blood and a lot of violence, mostly, like, comedic, kind of comical violence, but a lot, some of it was actual, like, scary violence, and kids might not like that. There was, a, like, screaming and fighting and dying, so, I don't think younger kids would be able to watch that. And I'm 11. You're 11, okay. So I would think maybe like 10 okay. to 12 years old is like... The minimum. Yeah. Okay. What do you think, Andrew? Um, I actually started watching it when I was eight as well. And I found, I, I was good with it. Yeah. How old are you? Um, 11. You're 11, okay. And I, I would say about nine up. Okay. Now you have a little brother, right? Uh, uh, yes. And how old is he? Uh, eight. Would he be able to handle this movie, do you think? Actually, yeah, probably. He, he likes Marvel as well, so he's Sabrina. just been introduced to it oh, really? recently, so. Okay. Sabrina, what do you think? Um, well, I'm 13, and I think like I started watching Guardians of the Galaxy when I was like 10. So I think maybe from like 10 to like older, because you know some people love Avengers and like superheroes. And I feel like it's a good movie. There is like a lot of violence, I would say that. Like I got scared at some parts, but like I don't think it's too bad for kids because there weren't a lot of like bad words in it. And I know that some younger kids are like obsessed with superheroes and would really enjoy it. And I think as long as you have like a parental like supervisor, someone who you can like talk to if you're scared, then I think you're good. That's good advice. PG-10 ish. That's the kids also. review crew rating, PG-10. Yes. like a thousand years ago, I fought my way out of that cave, became Iron Man, realized I loved you. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. The world has changed. None of us can go back. Do you feel that, and we talked a little bit about this earlier, Sophia, do you feel that you need to see the other Marvel movies to really understand this movie, to really to be able to um, appreciate the characters and the storylines? It would be, definitely would be helpful. You don't need to, but I would recommend it. Basically, the movie that I'd most recommend you watch before this is Infinity Wars, because this, of course, is a sequel to it. But I don't think you need to. It's just maybe watch a few of them with a few of the main characters. So you, you're not completely lost. Okay. I feel like it would be helpful too because like at the start I didn't really watch a lot of Avengers movies except for Guardians of the Galaxy and Infinity War. So I didn't really know like what was going on with like the characters and everything. So I kept asking like what's that one's name? What's that one? So if you like see it in advance before you kind of understand the characters and like understand how the movie's gonna work. So Mr. Marvel, what do you think? Um, I'd say you you should watch some of the movies. Some of them aren't just needed, like some of those filler movies, like Gardens of the Galaxy number two. There's not that many progressments, pro, progress, progress in them, or like Iron Man three, or like Winter Soldier, I guess. Right. Nothing really happens in some of those ones. Okay. 
So like I would suggest the all the Avengers movies, Guardians of the Galaxy 1, um, Captain America Civil War, and, other, and Infinity War. I think to understand the army and some of the people, also Black Panther, um, and maybe just like a normal Avengers movie. It doesn't, it doesn't matter which one, just to understand who some of the main Avengers are. So, yeah. Good, good advice. But would you agree with the, uh, the idea that you don't really need to see other Marvel movies to be able to enjoy this film? I mean, Sophia, you haven't seen anything before. You still enjoyed it. I did actually really enjoy this movie, even though I hadn't really seen any Avengers movies. It was still really fun. Okay, excellent. I like this one. <laughs> so one of the things that uh, I know the internet was all abuzz about was when Captain Marvel showed up in the trailer and that she's going to be part of this movie. How would you feel about that? I was so excited because Captain Marvel is like my favorite superhero, especially that she's like a girl. It was like throughout the movie, throughout the journey, you could see that girls really had a point in the movie and like one of the main characters was a girl and it just girl power all the way. Yeah, there was like a lot of female empowerment, like the girls got together and they're kind of like, we got this. And it was just like a really powerful message saying, you know, the Avengers were always about like Spider-Man and like, Iron Man, all of like those. A lot of, a lot of like, man. Yeah, a lot yeah. of man yeah. in the names. Yeah. Never really did we have like any female empowerment inside these movies. Girls can watch superheroes too. It's just stereotyped that way, but girls are just as powerful. Right. They're just as strong and you know, they can do whatever guys do. But the female kind of aspect and leadership aspect was really amazing. And do you think that that is going to potentially create an interest amongst uh, young ladies or, or females in general to, to enjoy this genre of film? I think it will because um, like growing up you didn't really see a lot of superheroes who were girls but like now they're saying like girls can do just as good as boys like we're all equal we can all do this we're all amazing like we, we all have power and basically I think like more girls are gonna watch the Avengers because they're gonna feel like they can do anything it, like if a superhero can do it I can do it. Right. Also um, Black Panther also had like an elite there's also like a woman's force in the thing also oh, true. as well. True. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great yeah point. The, yeah, the, like the King's Guard were all women. And they were well. very powerful. Yeah, oh, very, very powerful. So yeah. 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 One thing about Black Panther is um, his sister is the one who made all the suits and stuff for him. So if right. he didn't have a sister, then he wouldn't have. He wouldn't be a superhero right now. Right. He'd that, kind of just be king. That's yeah. a good point. He, he wouldn't be Black Panther. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure in the comics, Captain Marvel was a guy before. Yep, he was yeah. Marvel. Yeah. But now they add girl power. Girl power. <laughs> Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. So guys, the, the trailers that led up to the release of Avengers um, have been very popular. I think somebody mentioned it been watched 300 million times or something crazy like that. Um, did you think that the trailers gave away too much or just enough? Or do you think that they maybe even misled you a little bit? Um, I got mislead completely because I thought it was like about space or something because I saw them wearing like space suits in the trailer and I was like, maybe it's just like they're having like something in space. And or a then, crossover with Star Wars. Yeah, like there were like bits and pieces from it, but like there were like pieces where like there was like a random girl that wasn't really part of it in it. So you like completely didn't really understand what was gonna happen, which I thought was like fun because like you gotta see throughout the movie what you think. Like, I think this is gonna happen. Wait, it didn't. Yeah, well, that's, that, that's, good. that's good editing. <laughs> I thought it was a little misleading. Like I thought the trailer showed a snippet of the end, but in reality it was all at the very beginning. 
and I was just like, wait, I thought that was the ending or somewhere near the middle or it was just confusing right. and kind of surprising. And then I got excited. I'm like, if that's not the end, then what is? And I got even more excited like, okay, so this is gonna be complete total surprise. <laughs> Three hours of surprises. Yes. So in uh, Marvel movies, as we all know, they're, they always plant a lot of Easter eggs just to uh, keep us thinking, I guess. And, and one of them, of course, is seeing uh, Stan Lee. Anybody remember, did, don't tell us, but did you see Stan Lee in the movie? Yes. yes. Yeah. You he, didn't see him? He didn't, oh, he you didn't have to watch him, him again. Him. I saw him too. I couldn't see him. Oh, he's there. He's so oh, nice that he was honestly, there. Honestly, yeah. couldn't see him. Yeah, it was great to see him there, especially since he's no longer with us. I think they pre-filmed a few. Oh, that's just good. so, um, for like, movies if he if he passes away um that they'd have them nice now don't you move my hands aren't as steady as they used to be by odin's beard you shall not cut my hair lest you feel the wrath of the mighty thor <laughs> please kind sir do not cut my hair <laughs> No! No! How did you feel the, via, the visual effects were in this film? I actually heard this somewhere, don't remember, but um, apparently there was like more than 3,000 visual effects or something like that. I can believe that, yeah. yeah. Uh, in a three hour like that. movie, that'd be a thousand yeah. per hour. That's a lot. <laughs> like the visual effects, it just, it looks so realistic and natural. They got Rocket to like look like he was actually talking, even though raccoons don't usually talk. They like fitted him into it and like made it so that he looked like he was an actual big character and he was doing all these things. Wait, do you mean you've never seen a talking raccoon? <laughs> Not until I watched this movie. What do you mean? They're like all on my street. Yeah. 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 How you felt this film holds up against the other Avengers movies? Well, I personally thought it was the best because it is the only Avengers movie I've ever seen. It was an easy, it was an easy call for you. What do you think, Ethan? Um, I liked it because I had a lot of, I don't know why, I just like bright colors in movies. That's why My Little Pony is like one of my favorites. Oh, exactly. <laughs> um, I, th it, I think it was the best one they've had. Yet. Really? Yeah. Okay. There, I loved like the war scene, that was pretty cool. Oh yeah, that was I thought it was incredible, like all the way incredible. Like every single movie worked up to this, every single like character, it was everything came together and it was like, so it was the worst of the bunch? No, it was the best oh, okay, of the bunch. Okay, I just want to be clear, I want to be clear. And what about you, Andrew, what do you think? I think it was the second best oh, of all of the um, Avenger movies. Mainly because Tony... So guys, we're at the part in the show where all of you give your rating, one out of five, as to what you thought of the film. One being a stinker, five being fantastic. Let's start with you, Ethan, and give us a brief reason why you rate it the number you do. Um, I think four and a half, because I feel like it would be a five. There were, it's sad at the end. I'm not gonna say why, but it is. And uh, also, there's not a few actors that are, I don't think are coming back, which, uh, Sucks. I would rate it a four, probably, because this isn't really my type of movie, but being unbiased, it was really well made. The scenes were very interesting, very kind of culturally diverse. There was a lot of inclu um, like inclusive characters. Like, it was just amazing. Same, just like you. Some things are sad, and yeah. But what's your score, Andrew? Oh, score is um, four. I know you're very emotional. 4.17. 4.17. Not 4.97. 4.97. Are you gonna be okay? 4.57. No. I know, it's really emotional. It's, it's, it's okay, okay. right here for you. It's okay. You got this. It is a pretty sad movie. That's one of the reasons. I actually I cried at the beginning like, a bit. <laughs> a five. You did? So Sabrina, what did you think of uh, Prancing Ponies Go to School? Oh, I thought <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite movie. What's your score for Avengers? 
Um, I would give it a five out of five, oh, okay. just because like I found it really like empowering that there were like many lead girl roles mm -hmm. because usually you don't really see that and like all the little details that really stood out to me, it was like it all fully came together and all like the um, the effects, the special effects. I found that really cool because that's something I like to see in movies and there was so much of that and like so many crazy parts where you just didn't know what was gonna happen and they like left you on the cliffhanger and like at the end it was like it's now one of my favorite movies. So there you have it. The kids review crew have rated and reviewed Avengers Wait, Endgame. Jeff, I think we can do it. Please. Follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all the movies that we review. So make sure to catch us for our next episode. Thanks for watching. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, all, be all right. right. You no longer needed Jeff. Kids, Kids Review Crew! Here we go, and action. So you've heard it today. Our kids review crew have reviewed Avengers Endgame. Is that the name of this movie? Yeah. yeah. Yes. You got it. <laughs> Sorry, just Avengers Endgame. <laughs> it's only the biggest movie ever. But also, um, so somebody might have to get the spoiler bleeper out. Um, but um, also Thor. Bleep. Out of bleep. Bleep. That's why we might need to get the editor around. So we might have to get the editor uh, yeah. deployed there.